Good morning, one and all! We are back! Elliot from the 2P Project! Welcome! I have lots to talk about today and only a certain amount of time to do it, but that's okay because that's what these morning drives are for! Starting off with one of the most exciting, best things that I have ever done. Well, maybe not quite because we did go to Distant Worlds. Last night, your 2P Project Elliot, Naomi, and a special guest, Mr. Glimgy from Glimgy. Uh, he, you can find him over on Twitch and whatever, uh, was also with us. So all three of us, we went down over to Toronto, Ontario, to the Roy Thompson Hall to participate in something we like to call the Final Fantasy VII Remake Orchestra world tour it was awesome the drive over was nice it was like a couple hour drive we talked about final fantasy 7 we talked about all sorts of gaming stuff it's too bad i didn't get much of it on video but that's okay i didn't get any of it on video actually but that's okay because you know i wanted to save most of the conversation for today when we arrived we arrived actually two hours early so i had planned to arrive maybe you know, about an hour early or whatever, but it was cool because it wasn't too cold out. So we had an opportunity to walk around Toronto. We went and saw the Rogers Center, but we went, and, you know, looked at it, saw these metal sculptures or whatever, walked by Ripley's Aquarium, it was pretty cool. We didn't go inside, obviously. We even walked down to the Scotiabank Arena. Street meat in Toronto is one of the best things that you can partake in when you're in Toronto. So it was fantastic. And then, and then we walked around and Naomi actually got a picture with Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, can you figure that? No, she just got his uh, his walk of fame, uh, like cement thing <laughs> on the bottom, so. <laughs> but it was pretty cool. I don't know, maybe we can post a picture of that right here maybe, or on the side, or I don't know. I'll see if I can get the picture of her, but it was actually pretty fun. Anyway, so then we went to the concert. Well, let me tell you something. They had these program books, they had CDs, they had Distant World vinyls. They had Final Fantasy VII merch. Like, it was full of stuff. But your crazy 2P project couldn't buy any of it. Oh, so unfortunate. And it was one of those things that was just like, I really wanted something, but we just couldn't afford it. We didn't have the time. We've been waiting two years to go to this concert. Two years! Two! Two years to go to this concert. We got tickets prior to the pandemic, and we're like, yeah, we can go to the concert, Glim G, let's go, you know, 2P Project, let's go. We were all set to go, and the concert was supposed to be in the summer, and boom, pandemic hit. Nothing, 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 not a single thing, we couldn't go. Then they delayed the concert, we're like, okay, cool, we'll go in six months. Boom, another delay. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> So many dang delays, guys. At one point, we just figured, well, the concert's not gonna happen. When am I gonna get my money back, right? I mean, the pandemic really sidelines a lot of stuff. What do you do in that case? You just kinda go on with the show and carry on. Then, Glimji emails me or messages me on Facebook one time in like January. And he says, guess what? Concert's on! I'm like, oh shit! We get ready, get, get all excited for the concert. And then old Dougie Ford gets up on the podium and says, Yep, I'm shutting down the city again. I'm shutting down and putting up restrictions. And we're all like, what the deuce? So here we're thinking that the concert's going to get canceled or whatever. And uh, and it didn't. And so we went last night and it's been fun. It was fun. So many good songs were played. I'm not a big fan of the Final Fantasy VII Remake Orchestra. I mean, not orchestra. Whoa. <laughs> the Final Fantasy Remake re uh, I guess arrangements or new compositions but so they do build on the older music from Nobu Yumatsu and let me tell you obviously I'm really connected to the older music and even when they re-orchestrated all the music from all the Final Fantasies for Distance Worlds they still maintained that I still maintain that love for that music the Final Fantasy 7 remake orchestra the rearrangements for the Final Fantasy 7 remake they don't hit as hard on an emotional level than than the older music and I think that's just nostalgia speaking that said that's it I do love I did love the soundtrack I mean I did love the orchestra last night they we had songs like well one of the main songs that I really was in love with last night was hollow it was it was absolutely stunning that one was also composed by Nobuyu Matsu and it was just 
it was so good. It was so good. It's a power ballad. It was, it, honestly, for me, it stole the show. Other than, of course, when they did the encore with, you know, Eris theme. Oh, Eris theme. When the first three notes, like, bunk, bunk, bunk. Just like, it just sent me into, like, you know those anime tears? You just, they have the tears too. Like, I just felt like an anime character at that moment. And then, of course, they did One Winged Angel at the end. Like, you can't end a Final Fantasy concert without playing One Winged Angel, right? And then some of the other songs. Limji was really, really into the Tifa theme that they played. It's actually a song that they pulled together was super cool. I mean, the, the arrangement they pulled together was super cool. Uh, the whole concert, it was just a fantastic experience. And there was nothing at that concert concert that I thought could break my immersion but let me tell you and this is a new segment now we're gonna we're gonna do this whole segment as its own standalone videos in the future but Glimji actually gave me this idea and that's the it's time for what's bugging Elliot <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have my own little tune now and it's gonna come in and it's gonna go, What's bugging Elliot? But really, really, let me tell you something about what's bugging Elliot. So at this concert, we were sitting in front of this, this there's people, right? These people, obviously there's people all over the, all over the place. There's fans, right? Audience. So we're sitting in front of this couple, I guess, and they all were eating popcorn. I don't know, my mom's guilty of this too. And I, I know that everybody like, it just, it bothers people, right? Like it especially bothers Naomi. And, but no, Naomi didn't fight. Trust me, I would have recorded if Naomi got up out of her seat and told them to stop, but it was crazy. Like, <laughs> like, what is that? Why do people gotta chew popcorn like that? This is the same thing when you go to movies. Man, I'm sitting in the theater and I'm like, why do people chew popcorn so loud? What is the problem? Like you're trying to watch a movie, we're trying to watch the orchestra, play some fantastic music and we got these people sitting behind us eating freaking popcorn as loud it's like they should have been a part of the or or the orchestra they should have been a part of the orchestra themselves oh man like you know when you go to concerts or like this like concerts would be fine because you can't hear people eating popcorn but when you go to orchestra everybody is silent when you go to a movie everybody is silent and that one person that one person that is eating popcorn let me tell you it's it's the it it sounds like you take that bite and it's reverberating off your head and you're trying to listen to the music. It was just, it was one of those things. It was one of those things that really broke the immersion for me at the at the concert last night. And luckily, only like, luckily they, they finished their popcorn before the encore because I swear to God, if they had been eating their popcorn during Eris theme, I would have been out of my seat and upside their heads so bad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the concert was fantastic. The drive home was nice. We relaxed. And oh, that was actually the first time I had met Glimji in person. We've known Glimji for a while, but because of the pandemic, we've been trying to organize some hangouts and whatever, and the pandemic hit, and we really hadn't had an opportunity to hang out together, and it just really kind of, you know, whatever. So, Glimji! It was awesome hanging out with you for the first time ever, even though, you know, like we live in the same city, but whatever. For the rest of you out there, I'm Elliot from the 2B Project. I know I said this already. It's been a great, it's been awesome. We're dropping several new videos lately. Watch out for Football Over 30. They're a fantastic new series I'm trying to start. I play football and I'm over 30 years old and I've been playing football for the last, I don't know how many years. So tune into that. There's lots of stuff coming for that. I'm going to alternate those videos with the morning drive, with other video game videos that I can come up with. There's just so much stuff that I have in the plans for the 2P project right now that I'm trying to stick to a more consistent schedule and releasing one video per week. So please stick around, follow, like, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do. Oh, and we're also streaming on Twitch. Pokey, or Naomi, streams her Pokemon, her love for Pokemon, on uh, Tuesday nights and Thursday nights and Draconant or for like from 9.30 until midnight or from 11 till 1 or whatever. She does that on Tuesday and Thursday nights, so whatever. And then um, Draconant streams the rest, the rest of the week. So that's fantastic. Slide over to Twitch. Follow us there if you want to watch, take your part in their content. Did I say Pokemon games? She's she's filming, uh, twitching Pokemon, Pokemon games? I don't know what I said. Anyway. Elliot from the Doobie Project! Thanks for sticking around! This is your menu morning drive!
Woo! I'm excited today. Holy, I should turn it down a notch. Or hit that like button if you want to hear more excitement from Mr. Guy. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good day. And I uh, hope to see you next week. 2P. Oh, wait. 2P.